I didn't totally become a bug, no, but <laughs> it was weird to have these moments of like, my gosh, I just live in this eternal moment. This is my new hardest that I have completed after 24,421 attempts and I just beat it. And to be fair, I, there was a lot of times where I hated it, but there was a lot of times where I liked it as well. I don't know how to feel about this level. There's a lot of bullshit. Like 41 is really dumb. I <coughs> don't know why it was like even it, like that hard. And the robot afterwards is pretty stupid. In fact, I think that whole range of 40 to 50 just kind of sucked. But I, the decoration though is outstanding. I think it was one of the like Probably my favorite decorated extremes. I really like these simple design style bubbles. It only uses 57,000 objects. I really, really like levels that don't lag. I'd rather play a level that doesn't lag. Like I don't, I don't need to use it on LDM. I know my computer is pretty decent, but it's pretty nice playing on all in full detail. I'm pretty happy I managed to finish on full detail. So first off, we have the beginning of the level, which I think is definitely the best part. The pre-drop is honestly one of my favorite pre-drops and probably any extreme demon but i think it just falls off after here let me show you so in my opinion i just think this entire level is just really damn consistent like this entire pre-drop is really consistent it's gonna be a bit hard at first but the hitboxes are really fair and just i don't know just fun to play i guess there's lots of variety within this cube even though i can't do it right now but like that clicks kind of hard and this ball is kind of hard to figure out first, but then it just, just becomes so auto. It's a really good pre-drop and honestly probably one of the reasons I stayed with the level. And I will say I will give it a credit at that. But after here, I think the level just kind of falls off in gameplay quality. And I think this next part isn't the best decorated compared to the other parts. But I, I guess it gets pretty consistent. There is a couple awkward parts but i think that my main problem was i just kind of played for a while so but first off we have this like cube part it's not too hard oh, i'm just doing this first try yeah so first off we have this cube part this part will cause you so much trouble at first but in my opinion can get really consistent this part like is probably the easiest part of the level sometimes sometimes it isn't like later on you just kind of do this part every time like the only struggle is this wave because it's a really awkward click pattern. Like you gotta go there and like that. It's just, ah, uh, this can, like you can just die here like five times in a row. So in session, that's not you just need to get off. A UFO is pretty easy. That ship's pretty easy. It's, and then this part, this is where like the level kind of not really falls off, but there's, it's just, yeah, I would say it falls off. This yellow orb here is just kind of difficult. Like I would say just, yeah. Like, it's kind of blind, but it isn't too hard. Pretty consistent. Same thing with that green one. Like, it looks... It is so annoying to die to. This, like, entire... This cube and this UFO. Super annoying to die to. But it is pretty consistent and not that hard. So, it will not cause you some trouble unless you're just having a not a good day. And you would just not like this part. And then we have that ship click, which is, like... Like hard but not too hard but then as i just did is this way part that 38 wave caused me so much struggle at the beginning and it is so annoying to die to like the hit boxes are so small like look at those hit boxes those are just like look at these hit boxes they're just so it's such a weird wave click pattern like you can either hold up when you're right here in the ship and you can go super and go kind of low or you can start holding as the wave and it's just kind of this inconsistent like pattern of timings i don't really like this part but I, I guess it's it gets pretty consistent the more you play it and this is one of those levels that's kind of like really consistent but then sometimes it just really isn't so this part's not my favorite it's really annoying to die to then we have the worst part of the level by far it's i i'd say it's satisfying when you do it just because just because of how hard it is that's like the only reason i can't really give credit to the amount of bullshit timing this blue orb is this blue orb is the most bullshit timing of all time so you have the first off you need the release from this dash orb on the ship and you need to time that fucking blue orb perfectly like it's so hard like you can go like you can enter the data you can release like late or early that also affects it 
So, yeah, this fucking blue orb is so bad. I, I have no idea why it's Kevin. It is so ridiculously hard. And sometimes you will enter that transition, like, slightly too late. And then sometimes you just, like, your robot will just be too late, enter too late. And then it's, like, you just can't make this jump sometimes. It's so annoying. This robot is, like, probably my, one of the most annoying parts for me. This robot is so just awful. Like... I guess I'm doing it now, but from zero, this level is like, this robot part is so awful. I just hate it. Because you mainly die to this black orb right here, and then this, like, first click right here. Like, if you enter it too late, you just will just die, or you can hold too early. Like, it's this click pattern, but you kind of have to react differently every time you go into the portal. But you can't do that. Like, a human just can't do that. So, yeah. That's this part. It's just a really annoying robot part and then this pink orb is so fucking annoying like i can't state enough that this pink orb sucks it's not that hard but you have no time to react to it because of this speed portal change it's like such a weird timing i hate that timing so this ship is pretty easy except for a couple of weird spots like so this ship is pretty easy it's like you just kind of have to like click to the beat kind of that's what i did but it's still kind of like blind and bullshit. I just don't realize how hard this was, but... This yellow orb can be really annoying to die to as well. Like, and then, like entering here, you kind of just have to like learn how to enter that. It's just really weird. And then that can be annoying because that's straight fly. You hit, you enter differently every time. And then you have this stupid spike up here. Like, the spike is so awkwardly placed, in my opinion. It's like slightly slightly higher than the other two spikes it's just so un and sometimes you just don't see it it's like all dark and stuff you kind of just click to the beat and just kind of balls not too hard although it's really annoying to die too and the ufo is not too hard but there is fixed hit boxes here and so dying to those can be really annoying and then this ship i guess i'm good at ship because i was pretty consistent at it but there's a lot of times where you just feel like you just have to pray to pass it like this shit that ship timing is really ridiculous that one isn't as bad yeah but it's still hard and then you got to this ufo it's easy and then this wave is kind of consistent i don't know it's because there's like that invisible like hitbox there that just kind of messes you up it's like can more consistent with it but since it's like not a timing you're used to it's like you're just it's just bad and then this UFO is just easy. Oh, I can't even do it. And you get to this really learning wave section that's actually pretty consistent. It's like a like a click, click, click. You do, will die a lot here from zero because it is really weird how you do it. And you have to like actually like know this so well. Like it's so learning. And then here you have the blind transition. And you have to, for here, just click to the beat. So click, click, click. And here. There's actually a skip, so you can skip this gameplay where you kind of you just have to click to the beat again, just like really fast, like go like da 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 like that, and then you just do a skip. This timing isn't too hard. This section is just kind of easy, not really much problems with it. Now here, this section is just like uh, the ship part is so hard. I died here so many times. The ship is ridiculously hard, like just so tight. It's at the end of the level, you have to have so much nerves, it's crazy. This like, blue orb timing right here is so hard. Like I died here like four times. Cause then you have, you enter a gravity chain. Just click to the music here. I can even do it. Just kinda, it starts kinda easy and I added that UFO like three times. Then you have a last click that if you have an eternal pulse, internal pulse, kinda easy. I'm so thankful I didn't die here. But, yeah. Overall, I'd say this level is like five out of 10. Like there's some, it's like, there's some good parts and it's actually kind of relaxing to do because of the pre-drop. I think the pre-drop really adds the enjoyment of this level. I will, I love this pre-drop, it is so good. Um, but then it can be some of the most frustrating bull bullshit timing ever. I mean, I just took a three day break and then beat it in like a two hour session. I'm really thankful that I, have this done for 2.2 and yeah this is my final hardest and final stream for 2.2 and i'm pretty happy
Ah! Ah! Yes! 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 Ah! Yes!